Doctor Who, The Invasion, Episode 2. Street, Jamie and the Doctor walking down Walmer Street Road. The Doctor notices a Jaguar following them. 460 WPE. It's Burton and Tracy. They start to run. Lounge. Zoe, still wearing the boa and holding a pose as Isabel takes an upward photograph. Isabel, hold it now. Last one. Okay, you can relax. Zoe, oh, good. I don't understand. No, I don't know. St- I didn't know Stanley still could still be exhausting. Isabel, would you like some coffee? Zoe, mm, please. How long have you have they been gone? Isabel, I don't know. About a couple of hours, I suppose. Zoe, I hope they're all right. Isabel, of course they are. Probably got themselves lost or something. What's so important about the, these uh, circuit things you're telling me about? Anyway, so, well, they're part of the, well, it's a sort of machine we travel in. Isabel, oh, you mean a sort of electric car? Zoe, well, it's a bit more sophisticated than that. Isabel, oh, well, anyway, I hope you're going to stick around for a bit. I got a s- sick of photographing myself. Zoe, oh, why don't you... Why, don't you, you you always use a model? Isabel can't afford it. I only got, just got about enough cash to buy all the junk. Leave for the camera. It's expensive business. Well, I'm not good enough to be a professional yet. Zoe, well, I think you're very good. These photographs of you are splendid. Isabel, yeah, yeah, they're great, but I can't take them. I was just a model. I didn't take them. I was just a model. That's how I earned the loot to pay for all this. Zoe, oh, I see. Isabel, you're still worried about your two friends, aren't you? Zoe, yes, a bit. Isabel, they can't have got, them, they can't have got themselves into any sort of trouble, can they? Zoe, oh, you don't say, you wouldn't say that if you knew them. If there's trouble to be found, the doctor and Jamie can't miss it. Street, the doctor and Jamie run down another street to find another drug who stopped in front of them. The men get out of the first car. Gets out of the first car as the, as the first car comes out, comes around the corner behind them, and Bert and Tracy get out. Jamie, well, what do we do now, Doctor? Doctor, accept the situation, Jamie. There's nothing else we can do. Doctor sits on the curb and starts dealing out playing cards. The four men walk up. Vaughan's office, a boffin is looking at a circuit board. Vaughan, well, for head research assistant Gregory, I expect a little, a little more coherent. Applied an and epidemic shake of the head, Gregory. I'm sorry, Mr. Vaughan. I've never seen anything like these before. Given time, I might be able. Vaughan, then take time, my dear fellow. Gregory, right, Gregory, right, Mr. Vaughan. Vaughan, take one hour. Gregory leaves Vaughan. Use it. Gregory leaves Vaughan, uses the intercom. Vaughan, pack, pack, packer, packer. A monitor, yes, Mr. Vaughan. Vaughan Packer. Those two in- invited guests we had this morning. I assume they were photographed. Packer, monitor, yes, sir. Security cameras will have taken visual recording, sir. Vaughan, have some prints taken and sent up to me. Lounge, Isabel is playing a 78 record of Teddy Bear's picnic on a phonograph. Isabel, great, isn't it? I got to, I got it off a barrel in Portobello Road. I was like, oh yes. Isabel, what's the matter? Don't you like it? Say, oh yes, it's fine. Isabel, you're still worried about your two friends, aren't you? Why? So I don't know. I just got this feeling that something's happened to them. Isabel, why on earth should it have? So no reason at all, really. It's not a logical conclusion. Just intuition. Is it well? Isabel, well, I'll take you. I'll tell you what we'll do then. We'll go right out after them, okay? Say, so, oh yes, please, Isabel. We'd better take a note, make a, leave a note for them. Just in case they come back. Then we're not here. Zoe, so, okay, Isabel. I'll go and get my coat first. Aeroplane. Jag drives across RAF Fairford. Fall to her, 
to where a Hercules transport plane is lowering its access ramp. Military personnel put a pair of smaller ramps and it drives straight up and then upboard. Jamie and the doctor walk through to a door in in a glass map of the northern hemisphere, centered the North Pole, into an area where military personnel in grey uniforms with unit shoulder flashes are working. Burton and of Tracy follow. Jamie, would you mind telling us what this is all about? Burton, you find out, sir. Don't you, sir? An officer comes out of the forward compartment. Look at here. Ah, oh, all right, Burton. Benton? Benton? Couldn't think of Benton, sir. Tracy, R-R-A-F-I, break, sir. Brigadier, very well. Benton and Tracy Lee, Brigadier. How nice to see you again, Doctor. Doctor, it's Colonel Leverbridge Stewart. Brigadier, ah, oh, Brigadier now. I am gone up in the world. Jimmy, of course, the Yetis. We met you in the... Uh, Brigadier, that's right, McGrimmin. In the underground. Which must be four years ago. Jimmy, that long? It seems about a couple of weeks ago, doesn't it? Doctor, I told you over and over again, Jamie. Time is relative. Brigadier, are you still making a nu- nuisance of it? Uh, are you still making a, a, non- a, non- a, non- a nonsense of it? Doctor, in your, what you could call it, TARDIS? Doctor, yes, we're still troubling, yes. Brigadier, yes, Mr. Travis told me all about it. Is well, it, it, to say the least... An unbelievable machine, Doctor. Any more unbelievable than the Yetis? Brigadier, no, true. I'm not quite so much a sceptic as a little since. That little yes, Brigade. Doctor, but that's... Like, like, what's all this? And why? The cloak and dagger stuff to bring us here. Brigadier, yes, I'm sorry about all that. But my chaps seem to be a bit melodramatic in their methods. I explain. Look at... Look, do sit down. Jerry, thank you. Doctor, how nice. Brigadier, ah, Sergeant Walters. Walters, yes, sir. Brigadier, lay down some tea, will you? Would you like some tea? Wouldn't you like, would like some tea, wouldn't you, Doctor? Doctor, oh, thank you. And a pat- patty cake biscuit. Thank you. Brigadier, oh, yes, well, since the Yeti do. I've been in charge of the Independent Intelligence Unit Group. We call UNIT. That's United Nations Intelligence Force. Jamie, you mean you like the world's secret police? Dr. Brigadier, not quite. We don't actually arrest people, just investigate them. Jamie, but what about us? I mean, you arrested us. Brigadier, not really. You see, my men are keeping a watch on the International Electromatic Headquarters. When you two showed up, I have been keeping a check on everyone going in that building. Your photographs were transmitted. It says... To the, this headquarters, I recognise you, Doctor. But that's 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 what's so odd about people going in. But what's so odd about people going into the building? But they are nothing odd about them going in. The trouble is, some of them haven't come out. I.e. reception. The Zoe looks like a robot reception. Is well, yes, yeah, yes. It's probably the worst. Probably it's probably. The same idiot machine that answered the telephone when you ring up. Dave switches it on. Woman. International Intermat Etro Electromatic Company. State your business. So inquiry reference two persons seeking information concerning whereabouts. Professor Wilkins. Woman, wait please. Vaughan's office. Vaughan looks at photograph E O one nine stroke one. 5D, stroke 5D, stroke 7, 8, and the doctor and Jamie looking up the skyscraper. Then opens the secret panel. Vaughan, has the information been considered? Planner, the, the images of the two humans have been analysed and registered. They are known and are hostile. Vaughan, hostile? How can they be? Have you, have they been to Earth, on Earth before? Planner, no. They have been recognised on Planet 14. They are dangerous and must be destroyed. Vaughan? Planet 14? But how? Planner, they must be destroyed, Vaughan. Yes, I'll deal with them. Planner, plans of invasion are nearly complete, near, near in completion. Nothing must be allowed to interrupt them. Vaughan, don't worry about nothing. Don't worry, nothing will. Planner, nothing must be allowed to interrupt them. Vaughan goes to the secret 
closes the secret panel. The intercom beeps and upon the shows Zoe with his automated mated receptionist. I.E. Reception, woman. Now listen, Zoe, now listen to me, you stupid primitive machine. I asked a perfectly simple question. I expect an answer. Well, with no information available, Isabel. No good, Zoe. Zoe, I will not be beaten by this brainless tin box, Isabel. But you can't do anything about it. Zoe, can't I? A little problem in A-L-G-O-L, I think. Isabel, in what? Zoe, E-A-L-G-O-L. It's a sort of language you talk to computers in. Now what? Zoe switches on the machine again. Well, an international electromagnetic matic, electromagnetic company. State your business. Zoe, begin real X, sum positive. Delete square. Begin sum to subscribe, subscript J. Okay. Isabel, that's a good L A L O Q O O. Zay Intriga Compute. Print out Y to minus seven. X. Variable one. I'm doing this. Woman. International in Electro. Zay, go go to the finish. Complete. Integrate the intervazine. Smoke comes from the magnetic tapes. Isabel, it seems to be getting a little bit heated. Zay, you bet this equation is insolvable. Isabel, yeah, Zoe, I think you ought to stand back. Zoe stands back from Isabel and tells, and tells, and tells the computer. Zoe, now continue to print out continuous integration. The computer goes bang and Zoe and Isabel laugh. Vaughn's machine. Vaughn is a smiling too. Vaughn. Packer? Packer uh, appears on the screen. Packer? I, I monitor. Yes, sir? Vaughn, reception, two young girls, bring them to me. Packer on monitor, right, Mr. Vaughn. I.E. reception, Isabel, I'll take, it'll take more than soldering iron, put that right. Isabel, hey, don't, don't you think we better get out of here before somebody gets annoyed? Zoe, oh yes, I think you're right. Zoe and Isabel grabbed by black uniformed man, men at the door. Aeroplane, there's a series of overhead photographs on the table, on the map table. Bring it here. This is Gordon Jones, Lecture of Physics, Churchill College, Cambridge. Next one's a chap I knew at Sandhurst, old Billy Redridge. Got himself a very cushy number at the Ministry of Defence. Tutter, and all these people went in the building, an IE building, and never came out, didn't come out. Bring it in. Oh no, 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 most of them came out again. But there's something definitely odd about them. When he did, Doctor Odd, Brilliant, yes, old Billy Brumbridge, for instance, is quite corroborative. I have investigated the Vaughan initially, but after he'd been to the IE building, he started getting a bit sticky about it. Jerry, Do- Doctor, will you look at that one? Brilliant, do, do you know this man, Doctor Jamie? Doctor Jamie, yes, Jamie, I. He gave us a lift in his lorry. Bring it here. When did you last see him, Jamie? This morning. Bring it here. This man's an agent of ours. He reported it's almost 12 hours overdue. Gee, oh well, we did, he did, we did say something about some security guards on his tail. Doctor, I expect that he's all, he's all right. He's, he was all, all right this morning when he, he left us. But he, tell me more about this international dramatic setup. But he, oh, there isn't so much to tell. The head of the group was a man named Tobias Vaughan. Jamie, ah, yes, we met him, and a nice man. He gave me this, doctor. Oh, Jamie, don't. But he, oh, yes. You know, that's just a small stuff. They control practically all the major computer lines. Don't put it away. By doing it here. Made their real breakthrough in microbophonic circuit designs, undercutting practically everyone else in the market. Doctor, but what's your, what, what's your interest in this? Well, I knew a little about 
for long before his sudden success. I put it on a routine check on him. We came up with one or two things of interest. Jamie liked the disappearance of Professor Watkins. Bring it in, yes. Jamie, oh, I see. But till I see, I don't suppose you have any authority but to search the building. Have you broken in? No, Varus. Bond's too powerful. He's got too many up top people on his side. You see, Doctor, I don't, don't, don't make a move unless it, against him, unless I have good reason to do so. So the way it looks to me, if, it's, if Jamie and I wanted to find the professor, we have to fi- find him in our own way, Brigadier. That's about the sum of, of, what, of it. However, should you find yourself in, in, in difficulty, Sergeant Nature? Walters? Walters? Yes, sir, Brigadier. Get an MTM-45 handy. Walters? Yes, sir. Right here. Doctor, is that a tank? Brigadier? Oh, no, no. It's unit, my unit's a constant alert. So, should you find yourself in any trouble, you can just give us a call, Doctor. Jolly good, Walters. Here you go, sir. Brigadier, thank you, Sarge. Brigadier, now a small, now this is a small receiver, about 50 miles as its frequency. Just press this button after me. Doctor, oh yes. Well, splendid. That's splendid. Well, yes, that's, this should come in very handy. Brigadier, call me if at any time. Are usually available now. Now I better lay on transport for the, to get you back to London outside Trevor's house. No answer to the bell. Bell, do you know they must have gone out? But the front door opens as Jamie he leans on it. Doctor Zoe Isabel Lounge. Jamie probably gone for a walk. Doctor, look, Jamie. Sandwiches. I'm hungry. Want what, what, one? Jamie, thank you. No, Doctor. That chap, Mister Vaughan, didn't seem very. Su- didn't seem such a bad man. Jamie turns on his radio on. Doctor, oh, Jamie, how can I think when you got that thing on, Doctor? Oh, Jamie, hey, the Doctor. Same as a little friend, Tranny. Doctor, all right, all right. Doctor, Jamie, don't break it, Doctor. All right, I want you to. I want to take a look at that it. That's all. Yes, um, uh, uh, it's an interesting piece of... Jamie, what? Dada, well, well, what do we have here, Dr. Jamie? What do you mean, what do we have here? Dr. There's, that, there's a microscopic circuit at the back of this radio. Jamie, oh, oh well, what's that? Dr. It's very complex and it's my, in about circuit minute. Jamie, what's, what if it, what's all about that there? About that, Doctor, it's nothing to do with the radio, as far as I can see. Jamie, oh, Doctor, just put it back with them together again. Doctor, all right. Jamie, I don't suppose Zoe would have left a note to you. I can't know, I can't see anything. Well, you, well, you might as well help me look for it. Jamie, Doctor, I suggest that we try try the wall. Don't you mean, huh? Hallway, Doctor, Isabel, never... Right, it's anything on paper. You can't lo- can't lose a wall, remember? Joey, oh, all oh, tired of waiting. Go on to IE offices to look for you. Zoe and Doctor Isabel, Doctor Jamie, will be better go after them. Villain's office, Fawn, you and your friend the doctor caused much, much some considerable trouble today. First the breaks of the building, and then you uh, you ruin a very expensive device. It's not only because it's a stupid thing. Won't tell us about what we what we need to know. Isabel? Isabel, only because the stupid thing didn't want wouldn't want to tell us what it wanted to know. Vaughan, oh yes, Miss Wilkins, you're concerned about your uncle, aren't you? Evil, I'd like to know where he is, Vaughan. He's perfectly well, I assure you. Although a little uh, uncooperative at the moment, the vo- vo- visit here is most, op- is most opportune. I think you can, we can be very, you can be very useful to me. Isabel, me? But how? Vaughan, your uncle needs to persuade be persuaded to continue his work for me. It's Isabel, but I can't do anything about that. Isabel, Vaughan, no, I can't, but I can, Packer. I'd like you to take care of these two young ladies, please. Packer, take them. 
Body guards take Zoe and Isabel out. Outside the building, Jemmy starts the entrance, up the entrance step, but the doctor beckons him de- to uh, on down the side of the building. Jemmy, I thought we were going to, in there to look for Zoe and Isabel. Da 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 da. They don't want in, they're in there except those stupid computer. Those stupid computer. They won't even tell us anything, Jamie. But how are we going to find out what that? How are we going to find out that they are in there? Doctor, well, if the brigadier's men are still around, they should have seen them, them go. Hello, man, unit to general operations now. Doctor, hello, can I speak to the brigadier? Man, stand by, stand by, out. Doctor, what a splendid toy, little toy this is, Jamie. Jamie, I, I don't, don't, but it doesn't play tunes like mine. Airplane, Brigadier, yes, Doctor. I got, I got a report. He was on two gals, about 19 or so. One of them dark, one of them fair. One of them as was wearing very distinctive clothes. Jimmy? Yeah, Zoe, Doctor. That would mean, it would have been Zoe. Doctor, Jamie, just me, just a minute, please, very good idea. Brigadier, Brigadier, yes, Doctor. Those clothes. Do they include a rather brightly fe- 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 colored feather brawa? Brigadier, yes, a little dark one was wearing that. They are they friends of yours, Doctor? Yes, I'm afraid they are. Doctor, Doc, Jamie, Doctor, come on. Let's get out after them. Doctor, all right, all right, Jamie. Brigadier, we're going to try to get into that building and try and find them. Brigadier, well, yes, well, be careful. You may not be so lucky this time. Call me if you get into trouble, Doctor. Thanks. Brigadier, right. Over and out. Frayana. Is it wise to, to let them go in alone? Sir, I mean, it doesn't exactly sound like a professional to me, Brigadier. Don't underestimate them, Jimmy. They may look like amateurs, but the man, that, but that man is a critical knack of being one jump ahead of everyone. So if, if there's a safe way to a place, he'll be one to find it. Railway sidings. The Doctor and Jamie follow railway track in Park Royal, Guinness Brewery, really. And look through the chain lit fence and black uniform men and freighted great carriages. Jamie, you're right, you know. This does not, does, doesn't lead into a, the back of the place. Doctor, yes, of course. Jamie, come on. They go through the gate into the siding and power proper. Vaughan's office. Jaggery, I'm sorry, but these circuits don't make sense. Ritual isn't known ally, metal ally. In fact, the structure is more than pla- out of plastic. What's more, the connections seem to be completely illogical. Vaughn, hmm, I am how very interesting. A strange doctor intrigues me more and more. Craigie, I do not have, I do some tests on the circuits if you like, sir, but no, well, no, I think I know the answer, Gregory. You can go. Gregory, yes, sir. Gregory Lees of Vaughan opens the secret panel, Vaughan. I need more data about this man this, that you say you recognize, this doctor. Planet, it's enough that you know he's hostile. He must be destroyed. Vaughan, it's enough that you know. Vaughan, you said you recognize him. As on a planet 14, 14. How is this possible? Planner, the, these questions are unnecessary. He must be destroyed, Vaughn. That is for me to decide, Planner. You obey, Vaughn. You forget that you control the operations for Earth. Unless that's clearly understood, our partnership will cease. Tell that to your leader. Planner, it was, it has been agreed. Vaughn, I felt sure you wouldn't be, be reasonable. No, would you? Now you say you recognize this man on the front planet 14, recognize the doctor on planet 14. How did he get there? Verna, he was a machine. Vaughn, what about, what's on the machine? Verna, we are no more, we have no more information, but he must be destroyed. The evasion must succeed. Vaughn, it will, the doctor, be taken care of. Or I shall see you to that personally. Warehouse. 
An eight foot metered metal door, cont- metal container, with which looks like a bottle cap on both ends is carried and in a, a laid on the floor. There's lots more already stacked up. A doctor and Jimmy watching from behind a wall. Doctor, that's incredible. Do, do you what, doctor? You see the ease of which they, that man carried that crate. Jimmy, probably empty, doctor. Let's see, try and see, go see. They are combined efforts, do not move it. Jimmy, the man must be superhuman. Superman, doctor. Oh, it's odd, Jamie. It's deeply odd. Jamie, there's something come, someone coming. <clears throat> they run back behind the wall. The man carries in another container, puts it down and leaves. Jamie, it's amazing. Doctor, yes. Come on, let's find Zoe and Isabel and get out of here. These fellows are giving me the creeps. Doctor, yes. Vaughn's office. The intercom is beeping. Vaughn, yes. Packer in front of monitor. They're back again, Mr. Vaughn. A doctor and a boy. Stable art security eye. Pick them up. In the warehouse. Vaughn. That's rather unfortunate for them, isn't it, Packer? Packer on monitor. Yes, I shall need for current for current. Pecker, shall I put it on a full security alert on, sir? For all no, Pecker, we don't want to frighten them off, do we? Just close off the area, and we'll flash them out. Have you have you dealt with the young ladies yet? Pecker, you're monitor. No, sir. I about to when you this new alert happened. For now, fortunate. We need a sprite. Back to catch a mental call. Take them down to the warehouse area. Warehouse, Jamie. This place is a maze. Doctor, I think we're lost, Doctor. There must be a door to the main de- building somewhere. Screams Jamie. Zoe and Isabel, come on. Two warehousemen warehouse in overalls carry their unconscious Zoe and Isabel up to a container. Packer, right. Put them inside. The container lid is shut with a piece of lit feather. Boa stuck out. Packer, load it into the, the into the return van. Jamie, come on, doctor. No, wait, Jamie, wait. Jamie tackles Packer, Packer from behind. Packer, guards, guards. Doctor, the guards, come on. Pack, doctor and Jamie run around the walls. But as he's cornered by the armed guard and back to, to brought back to Packer, who draws his pistol? Pissed Packer like rats in a chat trap.